in last session we saw how to launch a simple function which doesn't take any parameters and doesn't return any value on a separate thread now in this session we are going to see how we can pass a data at, at the startup of uh, a function on a separate thread there are two techniques of doing that first technique is to pass data in parameter to the function like this parameter message parameter to the perform work function this is going to simply print the message on the console now the second technique is to pass the data in the instance variable of a class and launch a method of that class on a separate thread so this is the class my thread it has a one member variable called message and uh, has a member function called perform work and perform work is going to print the message uh, member variable on the console there is another function called perform work pool it has one parameter state which we are not going to use it's going to do the same thing done as done by perform work function it is going to print the message uh, member variable but we need this function because uh, the queue work item uh, queue user work item call uh, requires uh, the function to have signature with to have the parameter in the signature so that's why we have this function so looking at the first way to call uh, to pass uh, par parameters to the function on the separate thread is to instantiate parameterized thread start pass it reference to the function that takes one parameter and then call a start on that thread and pass the parameter to the start call this parameter will in turn be passed to the to, to the perform work function as this parameter and it will be printed out on the console the second block is a variation on the first block wherein uh, we are not uh, instantiating parameterized thread start but it is simply being inferred by the compiler and we are calling start on the same line so it is pretty much simplified version of the previous block the next block we are using different technique we are passing anonymous delegate uh, to the thread uh, uh, constructor and this anonymous delegate is capturing the outer message variable the next example is similar to previous example except that this one uses lambda expression instead of delegate and it captures the outer message variable so we can pass whatever we want to pass in this message variable and it will be captured by the lambda expression in the next example we are using different technique we are instantiating this my thread class and then we are setting the member variable message to whatever message we want to print out and then we are passing the member function of that class to the thread function to launch a separate thread and we are going to launch a separate thread and as we discussed before this perform work is going to get called and this perform work is going to use this member variable message and print it out and this member variable message was set before we called the perform work it was set here now the next technique is using queue user work item call from dotnet you would use this typically in dotnet version before 4.0 and uh, you would call queue user work item pass it the reference to the perform work function and then you will pass the parameter as a second parameter to this function and this parameter will go in as a parameter to this function call the next block in the next block we are going to pass anonymous delegate to the queue user work item and this delegate is going to going to capture the outer message variable the next next example we are going to pass lambda expression and it's going to capture the outer message variable in the next example we are going to call we are we, we are going to first set uh, the message member variable in the thread class and then we are going to call the member function perform thread pool of the thread class and this function as you know is going to print out the message which was set in the member variable the next block is an example of how you would do this in dotnet 4.0 and above 
in here we are instantiating task passing it reference to perform work function and then we are passing me a message pa as a parameter to the task constructor and then then we are launching that thread in the next block we are passing that message parameter to the start new call on the factory of the task class in the next block we are again using the anonymous delegate uh, technique wherein we are capturing the outer message uh, variable in the next block we are using the lambda expression technique to capture outer message variable and in the last block we are using the instance variable technique we are wherein we are setting the value in the instance variable and then in the start new we are passing the instance method to be launched on a separate thread which will print out this instance message variable so let's now build this and run it and you will see that all the threads ran and all the messages printed exactly as we expected.